well now that like the rain is over <laughs> the sun's starting to come back out and summer seems to be winning but we'll see how the rest of the week pans out Nice day. We've got. It's gonna be 75. I'm wearing a sweatshirt because somebody got defensive. <laughs> I was like, I didn't even know it was gonna be 75, but um, I, I was gonna talk about, you know, a lot of cigarette smoke. Yeah. The fact that my post op is on Friday, so I gotta record a gear review video today or tomorrow so I can have that ready for. Friday and then do that. I'm pretty sure since I'm not on pain meds, I can drive to practice and stand around and see all the new install stuff. Yeah. And hope, but Friday I'll find out whether or not, or when I can start going back and participate. And that's what sucks, <laughs> is I'm like, I'm waiting for this appointment so I can find out when I can go back and participate. And I didn't go to the practice after my thing because I was on pain meds and couldn't drive. Yeah. And it's been kind of a weird confluence that I was already off the pain meds, but I had incredible fatigue from, as I said, my body not digesting things correctly and not understanding energy. I was like randomly passing out. I was probably eating. I probably didn't bring my uh, food back slowly as it should have been. I mean, I was reading up on stuff and they're like, you should take about a month or so to reintroduce food back. I'm like, no, <laughs> three days out. I would have gone crazy. Three days after surgery, I was already eating, you know, Indian food, two days. I'd say you would have killed someone, but there's no doubt about who it would have been, me. No, <laughs> I don't know why you think I have such malice towards you, even comically. <laughs> I'd, I'd have probably taken out on some poor schmuck at a Safeway. We don't shop at Safeway. I know it. I would have gone to a Safeway and taken it out on some poor schmuck. Yeah. That's, in the that's... in the Whole Foods part, <laughs> or I would have gone to New Seasons. I'm like your bread is bad and you should feel bad. Just like throw organic chicken back in the bakery. Ah! Or something like that. Anyways, so we got a fighting event going on in Pokemon, and I'm not really enthused about a whole crap ton of fighting Pokemon showing up as is right now. <laughs> It's like, here's a lot of fighting type Pokemon. I'm like, oh, okay. But I, we're, we're trying to do the, the Zapdos overall research, which is like <laughs> electric style. And I'm like, Pokemon stop. <laughs> now that we have electric Pokemon, we need rain events. But now that we have, we, we're not having rain right now, but that's technically variable around here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with the weather system in Pokemon. Yeah. But it's like, now we're going into, now we have a, f a thing that's, you know, spawning fighting type. And I'm like, okay, well, fighting plus electric? Yeah, no, we don't have any right now. <laughs> I'm like, damn it, what are you doing? Like, Niantic, I don't want to say, you know, the, po the Pokemon Go side of Niantic is not, not doing this very well. Because yeah. they're making spawning events happen when you're trying to have other things happen as well as the it's like we are having such randomized stuff spawning right now it's almost hard to play because i'm like i can't get any electric type pokemon because now we're moving into a sunny thing as i said so it's like yeah i don't know what to what's going on how's your start of the month stuff going um got a remarkable amount done yesterday if we didn't have so many people in the database i would have gotten even more done that's true. Is your boss on vacation, or is she still on her? Retreat thing. Yeah, I was like her whirlwind tour of Amsterdam, <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, because it's not like a, comp it's a work retreat, so. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know. God, what was the joke? They're out in a cottage in the forest, not a cabin in the woods. Gotcha. Okay. We may want to see about taking care of this gym or something since there's a raid event thing happening and his train just passed. Yeah. But I'm not sure if the next one's coming in soon. <laughs> I'm joining the lobby. Bye. Uh, so we're back home. Aaron and I wound up doing that Machamp raid because he's like, well, I'm getting in the lobby right as I, yeah. So I'm like, okay. So we wound up doing it. The train was like five minutes long. There's the PlayStation. 
I'm gonna play some Assassin's Creed Origin. Um, go shopping today. Uh, I don't honestly have anything scheduled. <laughs> it's like, I had therapy on the 16th. Or that's, that's, Aaron! I need April anyways. So I had therapy on the 11th, surgery on the 18th, therapy on the 25th, and now we're on May 2nd, and I'm like, I mean, yesterday was May Day, today is May 2nd, tomorrow is National Day of Prayer. I don't know what that means. I don't, I don't pray. Does that mean, like, my prayers are worth extra tomorrow? I thought, yeah. May 4th is my post-op. So, I've got today and tomorrow. Right, I have to do that review. I got a box from Dick's. I know what's in it, so I don't have to necessarily make sure. Um, but yeah. So, films up for the game on the 12th. If anything, I can, uh, cause I don't know if I, again, will be able to participate. I'll be able to go, in theory. <laughs> Things are so much up in the air right now, I can't necessarily plan for anything. But I really hope, like, this last four days has become like, the healing's ratcheted up a notch, so I've been, I still have that, these on, because that one is the one that kind of bled a little bit more, and I think the bandages are inside a scab. Gross! But, so I haven't really pulled them off, um, the water in the shower hasn't been getting them off, that's why I'm thinking that's what happened, so, but it's getting easier to sneeze, <laughs> and yeah, so, um, anyways, I'm watching film, God got subtracted. I'm watching film so that, if anything, I can help the defense and say, hey, because my pattern recognition is great. And maybe Willie and I can too, because he's out for a while with the hand. So maybe on the 18th, we'll have a video about that. Just generalized things, not things to look for, but how, like I watch film because I have the time to be able to do it all the time. I understand that when you're going to school and you're going with a team film session, the coach is gonna go over this stuff. But like with Huddle, if you're on Huddle and they're putting the film on there and you got time to do that, rather than playing Fortnite on your phone or whatever that game is. People on my Snapchat are showing videos. At least one person, that's all they show on Snapchat is this cartoony looking bridge ball building video game. I don't know. But anyway, so <laughs> if you got time to do that, you have time to watch film. I understand football season's not currently, but the concept is there. Um, and I watched through the entire game, and I watch one thing. Like last night, I watched everything the line did. I watched five guys. I didn't care what the defense did on the mayhem, because I really don't care. Um, I will watch, probably see what they exploited, but I want to see what the line did. It was just my first step. Then I'll watch, you know, as a linebacker, I'll watch slot receivers. It's our league. I can't necessarily, that's the thing. You can't, if you got a bunch of crisp route runners, that's nice. Then you kind of can, but you can't dissect their playbook because they've probably got a bajillion plays and you don't know which ones they're going to run. But you can definitely tell if the person's bad at running routes, if they like sweep their routes a lot more. It's, anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. But yeah, I watch one thing all game. Make note of it. Watch something else. Like this next run through, I'm going to be watching their running backs. I'm going to watch their formation, which one gets the ball more often, which way they like to go in determined of where they line up. Like if they do one behind the quarterback and one to the left of the quarterback, does he run right or does he run left? You know, do they always go across the quarterback's face? I've seen it happen other ways, you know, and it's going to take, I was like, then I'm going to have to look like, does he run this way all the time? Or does he only run, does he run this way? Because yeah, but like I said, I'm not going to be paying attention to the line this time because I already did that. I will chat with you guys tomorrow. We'll see what's going on. Apparently there's a shiny meta, meta chan or meta tight or whatever that small thing is. Um, yeah, I forgot. I need to edit the video before I do anything. I said I have grocery shopping to do. But yeah, see, here's another thing that I have. Linebacker film review guide and just that. Something that's just like RB type, speed or possession. Willie's a speed one. Papriska is, would be a possession type. 
but it's just like, does he have any tip off? So I'm going to be going through this one, looking at the running back. I will tell. Uh, I need sugar. I need more coffee.